Taylor, play the clip. Scroll up, scroll, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Go to Coach Millennial, scroll up, Taylor. Right. Yeah, play that one, that one, that one. Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. I do. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. But Jesse Smollett going to keep lying until you say we don't believe. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know about the early out. L.A. shit, but we watch Kev yeah. sitcom not be successful. We watch Kev's Soul Plane not do well. And then Kev hit that stand-up circuit. Hmm. And Kev was in those comedy clubs. And, hmm. Kev, and, and, and I, I can tell y'all things that I saw firsthand. Kev would have his team walk around the comedy clubs and collect everybody's email. And he would collect these emails all across the country. And he started sending out a newsletter. Kev would send out a newsletter every, every, every week telling you where he's going to be. By the time all of these social media platforms hit, I remember when Twitter first came out, and we all was like, how the fuck can get all of these followers? Because he already had this database of people right. because of his newsletter. Yeah. I remember when Kev sold out, and I've told this story a million times. It's in Kev's book, too. Kev sold out Caroline's Comedy Club 12 times in a weekend. Like, he did some unprecedented shit where he had, like, shows on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Like, three shows a night or four shows a night. Some crazy, it was yeah. some... Crazy, unprecedented number. Kept adding shows. Sold out, packed, lying down the fucking block. And just, I, we, we, we backstage, Kevin Duvall going at it like they always do. Like just back, back then, like they, you know, because they were always on the same circuit. Going back and forth. Kev looked at Duvall and said, hey, man, they about to announce my name. When they announce my name, the crowd's going to go so crazy that I'm not going to be able to hear you. So we probably should just end this conversation now. And as soon as Kevin said that, coming to the stage, you see them on this, you see them on that, you see them on that. From Philadelphia, Kevin Hart. Crowd loses it. Kev walks off, turns back to Duval, winks, <laughs> and goes on stage. I saw that for myself. That was 2009. <laughs> Maybe early 2010. <laughs> so yeah, that's the you know I I, I, I got to disagree with a uh, cat on that one. I, I I was at one of those sold out shows. Yeah, I remember when he did that at Caroline's, and that was such a huge.